College basketball is all about runs. On Saturday, the Rams gave up a 17-1 run and a tough loss to Monmouth on the road. But today at home, the Rams took care of business with their outside shooting, their man-to-man -man defense, and a run of their own in the second half in an 83-69 win over the Ramblers. In the first half, I don't think like we, was doing, we were being patient enough. We were just rushing shots and just getting them up. In the second half, we kind of like take our time and getting the right shots, getting into the lane and, and find them. Um, open look, so um, I think that was the difference. In the first half, we just sent for the jump shot, and um, that's what made it work. In the second half, just getting into the getting layups before we found the three and things like that. Rooms and Trey helped us a lot today by finishing at the rim, and um, that, get, that gave us a lot of open shots at the end of the game. And the Rams hit a lot of open shots in the second half, scoring 54 points, shooting 57% from the field, and hitting four three-pointers, three of them thanks to Brian Smith, who finished with 17 points. Brandon Frazier had 16 points and nine assists, going a perfect six for six at the charity stripe. Freshman John Sevier had a tale of two halves. In the first half, he shot one for 10 from the field, but in the second half, he shot five of six, knocking down big time shots. But he also had six assists, which says a lot about the success the Rams had attacking the rim in the second half. The good thing about John Brandon, Brian Mandel is they can do both. So they can keep you off balance. But yeah, he drove the ball a couple of times, you know, with, with a fury, you know, to get to the rim and then he made some great passes. So I think we all did a pretty good job of putting it on the deck more in the second half. We talked about that. We fall in love with the jumper early in the first half. When we drove the ball, we, we had much better success. The Rams played zone in the first half and were getting torched from the field, allowing Loyola Chicago to shoot 50%. In the second, the Rams went man and forced nine turnovers, making huge plays to ignite the crowd like this. Well, we, we got out of the zone, and, and I think what hurt us in the first half was a 6 of 10 from 3. You know, so I mean, boom, all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're deep into a possession and then they reverse the ball and they knock down a three. So by going man and, and being able to, uh, you know, being able to stay close to Turk and not allowing him to get as many looks in the second half, that was a big difference, I think. Brian Smith was the defensive specialist this afternoon. The junior grabbed seven rebounds and two steals, but he held Loyola Chicago's best shooter to only three points in the second half. Devin Turk went into halftime with 14 points after connecting on four threes, but Smith held him to five shot attempts the rest of the game. Just don't let him get any touches. To limit his touches, like almost face guarding him. The less touches he gets, then it's harder for the for Yo to score. Because he was the main reason why they was in the game. He hit all them threes. With the victory, Fordham now has 600 wins in the Rose Hill Gym as they become one of only 12 schools to reach that milestone. The Rams are also 5-1 and one at home this season and feast off the home cooking. You got to be good at home, and I don't care who we play in this building. I expect us to beat them. We go on the road, I expect us to win, find a way to win. But at home, I expect us to, to win in this building. And we had a great crowd today. Uh, my, my assistants did a great job with youth groups, filling the place with youth groups with the students away. So I, I was shocked when they came out to see what a great crowd we had here right on, on the 23rd. You know, we're getting ready for Harvard to come in here like everyone else. We expect them to come in and we expect to beat them. You yeah, know, we fear nobody in this gym. The hard thing is getting people in the gym, you know, trying to get people to come play us in the home and homes, especially what would be considered marquee opponents, you know. Fordham basketball has not lost two games in a row, and Coach McCorris stated in the post-game press conference that it's his team's resiliency that is pushing them through the season. And I hope all of you and your family have a great Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Reporting from the Rose Hill Gym, Donnie Dwyer, TheSportsCycle.com.